Good morning, my name is Ben Selstrom. I want to talk about closet lighting for a couple minutes here, just to show you what a standard closet wiring situation would look like. Uh, this is the kid's bedroom closet here. You are on the opposite side. This is the back wall of the closet. And here is the light switch box. Couple options, you can either put the light switch box on the outside of the closet or the inside of the closet. In our case, we like it on the inside. That is a preferential thing and not a code thing, so that's up to you to decide. We decided on the inside of the closet because if we wanted to add a motion sensor to turn the light on inside of the closet, we would definitely want to have the light switch on the inside of the closet. Uh, but lots of factors to consider with that, that's up to you. So with your standard configuration, it's going to be very simple, just like this. We've got power coming into the closet box, and then we have, we'll have a standard switch right here, and then power going up to a single light fixture at the top of the closet. You want to keep it as close to the, to the front edge as possible, and if you had um, room up above this, uh, you would actually mount the, the light on this portion right here, but we can't do that because of <coughs> ductwork. So, that's how you do that. You put a standard, uh, this is a four inch round box right there, and uh, when we get a fixture for that, we'll just have to make sure that that is rated for being in a closet, uh, or it is fully enclosed so that if, uh, so it's not going to start a fire, basically. So that's your standard closet, but there are a lot of other things that you can do with closets uh, for lighting, and I'll show you what we've done in our master bedroom closet, which is right here. So I would say this is probably the most overwired uh, closet that you would ever see. <laughs> but it, in, it, it uh, incorporates a lot of things that you can consider at least and <clears throat> wrap your head around here if possible. So got a light switch right there. Uh, so I'll back up over here a little bit. All right, so this is a, a double wide side-by-side -side closet, his and hers, sort of a situation and we decided to put the light switches on the inside of the closet uh, for the same reason I just talked about a minute ago because we might put a motion sensor switch on that. Now, uh, so we've got a switch on that side and on that side so that uh, we could uh, do one of two things. The way we think we're going to do it is we're going to have all the lights switched together in the closet. So it'll be a three-way switch on this side and a three-way switch on that side and that'll turn the lights on and off from either side of the closet. Uh, the other possibility is to have this half switched on that switch and this half switched on this switch. And so that the wires are in the wall for that to be a possibility. Now, up here we've got one standard uh, light box that the light will be mounted there and one standard light box where the light will be mounted on there. Now, in addition to that, <coughs> we have uh, receptacle boxes, I guess you would call them. We've got one there next to the center column, one on that end, and one on that end. Now, the reason for those is they are going to be switched along with the light switch. So when you turn the lights on, it'll turn power onto that outlet because we want to put, uh, I guess you call it strip lighting, that goes all the way down this column and shines directly onto your closet. So you'll have lighting down there, down there, and down there that'll shine directly onto the closet. Because if you just have these lights up here, it's a lot better than no lights, but it's not going to, it's going to be a down, downward light that's going to be lots of shadows towards the bottom of the door. So that's what those boxes are for. Now obviously the cost of adding all these things is minimal if you're wearing it yourself. It's just takes more time. Uh, so uh, that's kind of up to you, but that's what those boxes are for. So we've got, as far as wire goes, um, we've got our power coming into the bottom of this box, okay? And then we've got a 14-3 wire, which means it has a black, a red, and a white, okay? 14-3 going straight from here all the way up and across to the opposite light switch box. That gives us control for that three-way switch option uh, where we would have a switch on either side. And then uh, here we have the light or power uh, goes from here with the standard 14-2 cable up to our first box and our second box and so on. All the way across it connects to there. 
Now, if we decide to switch half and half, uh, we can take uh, this wire here, which is kind of an extra, and this wire can power to there, there, and I could even split wire this one so that half the receptacle is on one circuit, half is on the other, but I don't know. Um, but anyway, and then I'd use that 14.3 wire coming to there to power that switch so that could be switched independently. Um, but those are some ideas for you as far as closet lighting. Uh, is this the best? I don't know. This is just, I did some research on it and uh, this is the uh, probably, <clears throat> It's the way we decided to do it, and I think it could help you in deciding how you're going to wire your closet. Um, but lots of possibilities here. You know, it's really hard to add wires later, so I tend to add them right now. But uh, it does take a little bit of time and effort. Uh, obviously, with the kids' uh, kids' bedroom closet, we're not doing anything real sophisticated. So, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out. If it did, please rate it up and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos. I will do my best to upload videos on a semi-regular basis. And please comment down below if you have any other questions while this while our house is in this uh, stage of the wiring, so that I can tell you before the sheetrock goes up. Again, my name is Ben Salstrom. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll talk to you later.